Welcome back everybody. What a great video was that. I was in it, so I loved it. Next up, we got Disney's Tarzan Untamed. Any present on the GameCube by double 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 double. So give him a heads up, stay tuned, and good luck my boy. All right, thank you, Mark. And hello, everybody. It's, it's me again. And I'm here to play a different game. Hang on, let me let me give the save file uh, a meaningful name, even though we're not going to be saving at all. So this is Disney Stars and Untamed, uh, which was actually a launch title for the GameCube. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing any percent. I'm going to take you through it, and uh, and yeah, I'm ready to go. So we're going to get a countdown from the tech desk. In three, two, one, go! Okay, so right away we start mashing eight to skip a cutscene, and we wait. We wait for the thing to load. All right, so first I start jumping because uh, that's faster. There's a little build up to running speed, but uh, if you jump, you can move at, at running speed. Uh, so you can just move at running speed while the build up happens. So I'm, I'm just gonna be jumping a bunch until I'm certain that I'm at running speed and or that the build up for running speed is done. And then I just walk. I jumped a little bit too far, so Tarzan now turns all the way around and then turns back around. So what I did there on that sliding part is called rail jumping. Uh, anytime you're sliding downward on a rail, uh, when you jump, it just pushes you forward. We don't know why. It's just how the game's physics work. It's it's just it, yeah. We just know that it works, so that's an exploit we do. All right, so here's the first skip of the game, which I missed because I jumped too late. Also, I randomly slid off and died. This is a good start. All right, so die means I do lose all my spears that you saw me uh, carry earlier, but that's okay because we can just get them... Uh, Get them right here after we see this cutscene. So yeah, these mid-level cutscenes are unskippable. What's going on? So we uh, just have to go through them. Alright. So yeah, if you do everything right... Uh, you only need to pick up spears once because if there's spears uh, sticking in the ground or sticking somewhere where you can actually touch them, uh, you get them back. So there's actually a tiny bit of uh, ammo management in the game. Now that was the second skip. Uh, by jumping off of that rail early, I landed underneath the mushrooms and I could grab that film reel. If I landed on the mushrooms, I would automatically land on the uh, the tree trunk that I jump jump onto after I grabbed the reel and I would have had to jump off, grab the film reel and jump back up. So it's a little bit of optimization. And that's what most of this game is. Most of this game is movement optimization. So we're going to jump here to avoid getting hit by that boar. I would throw a spear to kill him, but you can't throw spears when you have a baby monkey on your back. And that's one of the parts of routing in this game. We have... Uh, these baby monkeys that we need to save because there's a main collectible uh, Which is a film reel which you saw featured in one of the uh, the cutscenes that we can skip and uh, There's 25 in each world or okay the game doesn't really call them worlds But the game is clearly divided up into three sections, so we c kind of just call them uh, worlds but yeah, each world has three levels that each have eight film reels. And then there's a, uh, a bungee challenge uh, bonus type of minigame uh, that also has, and that has film reel number 25 uh, for a world. So it's 25 per world. 
We need 45 of the uh, first 50 to access the final third of the game. And yeah, that's what the routing of this game revolves around. Hello. So we're allowed to miss five. Uh, so yeah, we're saving the baby monkeys here because that unlocks the, uh, the bungee challenge. Uh, which if we then complete, the gorillas uh, will help us. The gorilla that you saw on the first skip that I failed. Uh, so yeah, when you beat the bungee challenge, you can yell at him, and then he helps you uh, reach an alternate path that has a film reel. The game is weirdly formulaic in that that there's three three of these uh, yeah these split paths uh, in each of the stages, and. Uh, the main path part and the alternate path part each have one film reel on it. Alright, so we do have to re-enter this stage. We're doing it right now uh, because menuing. So I will let our host uh, say a few things uh, while I backtrack through this stage that we've seen before. Right, I jump off here because uh, going down there is actually faster. The first time we go over because the cutscene puts you there. Also, because I failed to skip the text box I got there, I will now not get here. Alright, so this is one of those alternate paths. Uh, we're going to be grabbing... Uh, so that's number six, as you can see in the, the bottom right corner. And there's one more that we will grab in this stage, and the game stores progress that you get as soon as you get it. So we can collect that film reel, and then immediately pause the game and exit out of the stage. Alright, so now that there's no baby monkey to worry about, I can just throw a spear at him and at this thing to just go a little bit smoothly. Now, I try to yell at them as close to the point that Tarzan walks to so that he spends the least amount of time doing that. So, as soon as it appears, we pause and we exit. All right, so now we're going. Now we're going to see the second uh, type of stage, or technically third, if you want to count the bungee challenges. And uh, so yeah, th so we're uh, we're surfing here. We're trying to save Turk. Also, yeah, we go inside there. It's a little optimization versus going around. Also, that that is uh, quite a decent damage boost. Now, I don't have to actually grind on that rail, although it's slower, but it's it's safer. Uh, it's it's pretty hard to hit if you uh, choose to go for it without getting onto the rail. And something similar is going to happen here. I'm going to jump onto this rail early because there's weird hitboxes that can bump you in the directions that you don't want to go. All right, so now you're going to see the main mechanic for these stages in action, uh, which is back bonking. By hitting, by hitting the wall with uh, the back backside of a board, uh, we don't take damage. For some reason, Tarzan doesn't take damage when you hit the mail. Also, uh, I just missed the film reel, so I'm going to have to go back for that because f for the routing of this game, I do need all eight that are here. 
So let me grab these bananas for safety. See, so yeah, I'm supposed to be a four right now. But it's it's fairly early on, so it's it's not the worst thing in the world that I missed it. But yeah, this is a big reset point. Because it's easy to miss things. Here, I missed, missed another film reel. Oh, this is going very terribly. As you can see there, I missed it, but it still counted. Because the hitboxes for them are massive, so... Yeah, same with that one. Right, so that's the end of the stage. Uh, now we're gonna have to go back in because I missed film reels. Uh, now the text box that showed up at the beginning here, uh, we don't get that here because we have done this stage before now. Let's see if I can get this optimization again because it's actually pretty hard. Yeah, if you get misdirected, uh, it's... You need to kind of need to be lined up properly. So yeah, now that I've got that film reel, I can just easily skip this. All right, so that's all good. So if I line this up right, I can just skip those two crocodiles with one jump. Right, more back bunking because it helps us turn faster. Because back bunking also redirects your momentum without you losing speed. All right, so that's the uh, one we missed. And let's get the other one. So yeah, we have a we have a good amount of lives right now, and we really don't need to worry. Yeah, you get plenty of lives. Alright, so I'm gonna purposely crash into this wall to back bunk. Alright, I'm a little bit low on health. So I wanna take this careful, but there's the last film reel, so as soon as we get then, we can get out. So it's unfortunate we have to go through that. Uh, and now we have an artist crawler coming up. With uh, eight more film reels to collect. But since it's an artist scroller, I get to have a little fun. I get the reverse key, which actually does reverse your left and right controls. I'm just used to doing this reverse skiing at this point. See, so yeah, there's a couple tricks in this game. There's another one I can forward flip. There's also a tumble turn. See, so yeah, every 5,000 points you score, you get an extra life. Uh, not that we need it, because we're doing very well. We're doing well on lives. You get a lot of lives throughout this. Even when not going for them. Right, so I'm going to damage boost through that. Because I need to avoid the rail. Otherwise I miss that film reel. Alright, so here if I just hold left, I will automatically get this. Wow. 
So I could swerve around or I could just front flip over everything. Right, so we'll wait for Grind 100 to appear on the screen for the second time, and that's that is my visual cue for. Uh, that's my visual cue for that final film reel. So coming up, we have our first boss fight of the game, uh, which is a term I use very loosely. Because this is what it is. I just mash the B button a couple of times. There's no way to speed this up. It always goes at the same rate as long as you are mashing fast enough. And yeah, you, you input the button combination from left to right and you're done. And yeah, they, they don't get any more creative with the bosses. Literally all they do is add a hit that you need to do so the, and add a button to the button combination. So the second boss is four hit, uh, two hits and four button combos. And then the final boss is three hits and uh, five button combos. Hey, hey, Double. Yo. First of all, good boss fight. Second of all, you're a speedrunner, right? Yeah. Hurry up, I want to eat breakfast. I'm trying to make it work. <laughs> Just joking, dude. Just joking, you're doing it quite well. Yeah, the, the only big mistake was the death in the first stage and the uh, the fact that I had to redo the surfing stage. Surfing stage was was what lost me a lot of time, but nope, I, I do want that film reel. Alright, so that's another one of the uh, the monkeys that will help us. I actually was not supposed to do this. <laughs> We're not we're not supposed to do the baby monkeys. Uh, save the baby monkeys here. You shit! You were going fast. I know you're doing this. I'm going so fast I can afford to do this. Good save. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take much time. Hello. Yeah, there's this animation that I have to wait for a few seconds, but then we carry on. Right, so we're not actually supposed to save the baby monkeys because uh, we don't need to do the second bungee challenge. Uh, we miss out on those those young apes helping us, but there's only uh, three of them in the game. Right, so I take a death warp here uh, because I took the alternate path first because dying there puts me back here. Uh, where at, at the beginning of where the path splits, so now I can go on the normal path and uh, get the film rule that's on this, uh, yeah, this part of the split. So, yeah, I have spears, I can use those to kill her. Alright, so I need this film rule. Now, please don't drop me off randomly. Thank you. I'm going to wait with jumping off here. Did you get a boost forward and get here? So yeah, there's gorillas in these stages, which, you know, will still help us because we did the first bungee challenge, and that's why we don't have to do the second ones. There's only three of them. Uh, so skipping them, and then also skipping the bungee challenge, which gives you a film reel, means four film reels we miss out on. And we need 45, so that's 46 available, so we can still skip one. Also, there's an encounter here. You mash the B button to fill a bar, and there's a yellow bar that fills. Ah, dang it. Oh, that hasn't happened to me in a while. The exhaustion is showing, I think. Because, yeah, this is a weird jump. So I'm just continuously jumping here to climb up it faster. All 
All right, so here we have to slide through a trunk and avoid branches. Alright, I gotta hit once. It doesn't matter. It doesn't slow you down. So I'm gonna stay on the inside here because I can reach the uh, the end zone for the stage faster. So we have one more auto scroller. It's th it's the last one though. We do have to get all eight. Now this f this first one is very tricky. Because if you don't get on this rail by mistiming your jump, you can't get this. So it's good that I got that. I really don't want to have to redo a stage again. And yeah, most of the stage is pretty chill. Uh, the second one is a bit uh, bad. It's You can easily get bounced off the rail. So what I do instead is just land next to it and jump near it and take advantage of the massive hitboxes that these film reels have. So at the end of this is uh, number four, so we're halfway through. All right, so here's just tap A. Right, and let's get this without getting hit by the snakes in the water. Also, yeah, I do not have to care about my health. There's plenty of uh, health refills, uh, which are bananas. And yeah, uh, talking about the health, um, let me bring up the HUD. So you can see the health is kind of divided into five sections of five. So it gives us 25 health to work with. And there's two types of damage in this game. Things that damage you, I did do three damage or five damage. And then, yeah, uh, for recovery items, you have bananas which heal uh, one health, and then banana bunches which heal you for five, uh, five health. Now, one more death warp coming up. And it's uh, right here at the beginning. All right, so we do more rail jumping. Now I jump a little early. So yeah, so there's this guy with a lasso that throws it at you. Uh, there's no way to avoid it. So you have to just kind of get hit and then break out. Right, I do have to be careful here because I can miss that. Right, I'm going to jump late to skip one of the lily pads. Now here I have to delay my rail jump a little, otherwise I jump over the rail and miss it. Right. Taking a second to take a save. Alright, so I made him miss me. Kind of debated him to fly over me by jumping at a specific time. So here's another one of those encounters where you mash B to fill a bar, but we can just walk around it. All right, this one we can jump over. Or 
Also, if you get off of a rail, if you jump immediately, you get your running speed back instantly. Which is a nice, consistent thing. Alright, so there is actually one skip in this game. Uh, it's a small one. Uh, but it's called Lasso Skip, and you'll find out in a second why. Can I grab spears, please? Alright, so, yeah. So there's a lot of these match B encounters, uh, but we can kill these enemies instantly with uh, by hitting them with a the spear. Also, we debate that. So here's Lasso Skip. So there's another one of those guys, but if you play this right, you actually kill him before he throws his spear at you. Alright, so I'm going to jump at the end here to just get a big boost. Alright, and just like that, we're at the end of the stage. Now, I have spears, which makes this a little easier to pull off. And just like that, we are uh, we have 45 film reels, so we're good on that front, and we're up to the second boss fight. So the only real optimization you can do in these is uh, just inputting the uh, button combination as fast as you can, which are all the same, by the way. They are they are always the same. Uh, so like this next one is going to be A B X Y. Also, Tarzan drowns in water in the normal stages, yet here he can swim. For some, for some unexplained reason. Alright, and that's the second boss fight over. So you have three hits. So the way you die in these is by losing the struggle, by not mashing fast enough and letting the bar fill up to the left side. Uh, if that happens, you take a hit and you get three hits for every fight. So here's where they check if you have enough film reels. These may just have the answers we need. Let's take a look. So yeah, it says, let's take a look what you do in a cutscene that we skip. Alright, so there's a, point, there's a bit more rail jumping here. Uh, we're, we're back to the platforming stages, which, uh, which are the most technical. Alright, so I want to jump off of this early. And yeah, I did time that right, so I did get the spears and could keep moving. So here we have a new enemy. Uh, we throw a spear at him. We technically throw it too early. Uh, and he ducks and dodges it, but that means it's one of the another one of those uh, match B encounters, uh, which uh, uh, yeah, it's another one of those match B encounters, which does um. Well, yeah. So we throw it too early, so he actually dodges it, but the. Yeah, the, the trigger for it is uh, not active while he's ducked down, so... So then we can just run past. 
which is the, uh, you know, just being able to keep moving. That's the important thing. So we're back to saving the baby monkeys again uh, for a different reason, which will come up uh, near the end of the run. So it is for, it is essentially for the same reason as before, because uh, here we have a new type of monkey, the baboons. Uh, and we need their help to reach the end of the game. Alright, so I'm gonna climb for a little, because if I jumped right away, I would have grabbed the ledge and would have had to climb up, which is slower. So yeah, there's a bunch of small little optimizations that uh, I've found over the years. Although it's not been only me. So I hit him to stop him from shooting at me. And then the second hit I do very specifically so I can walk past him. Also, I'm going to climb normally here. Because if I if I jump, I'm going to get caught by the trigger zone of that of that snake. I'm going to be pulled back down and have to do the uh, the mashing encounter. Alright, so here there's no choice. We have to like grab the ledge and climb up. Hey, double, 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 double. Do we have time for not one, but two donations? Uh, yeah, we do. Alright, so first of all, we got Krumpmeister with a, with a eight euro donation. Double! Have you seen the children? Also, yes, we can hit 1700. And with that, we reached 1700. Woo! That was spicy. <laughs> spicy. And the second one is also um, 8 euros from Xida saying, Dutch J and his bro should go on an adventure together. Mark Furness name. Thank you, Xida, for bringing me together with my brother. There you go. I'm done now. All right, so thank you for the donations. It is highly appreciated. Also, there's also there's spiders in this game. And what they do is they sh they uh, shoot a cocoon at you that binds you, similar to the uh, the guy with the lasso uh, that we saw earlier. I I'm just gonna take a hit because there's a, a banana bunch here. And, uh, but uh, the spider can only cocoon you when you're on the ground. So I just jump repeatedly while trying to spear him. So I don't get caught in the cocoon. Right. So I'm going to jump here and, ju and throw the spear to dodge the, uh, dodge the thing. And how many spears do I have? Only one. In that case, I'm going to actually restock here. Because I want to keep him busy. To give me time to... Split that vine open so I can uh, swing on him and get to the end of the stage. Yeah, and there's a there's a bunch of cutscenes after and before levels, but you can skip them on the first possible frame, so that's why you don't see him. So here we have another surfing stage. Luckily, we have no film reels to worry about. The film reels I collected in the previous stage is just because they're there. Uh, we don't need them, but we also don't have to avoid them. So it's just it's just whatever. So these waterways are pretty wide. So using back bonking to take turns is kind of doesn't work. Uh, so here we're gonna use the other main feature of back bonking, which is avoiding damage. I am oriented very weirdly. So there is a glitch that I've gotten uh, once off camera and I've never been able to replicate it, but you can actually turn Tarzan upside down with the right amount of unintended collisions. Uh, unfortunately, I've not been able to replicate it on camera. Also, I do want to go for like safety bananas and everything. Because uh, I'm a little bit low on health. 
Also, I can crash into rails that I can grind on just fine. So yeah. So most of me is going to be me avoid crashing in everything and turning myself to I hit it with the parts of my board that don't get damaged. I'm going to keep keep my backside uh, aimed towards the wall. So I just kind of squeeze in there. So yeah, crashing in the walls does three damage. Uh, hitting snakes and yeah, most enemies do five. Yeah, and again, I'm on 10 health. I want to at least be on six or more by the time I get to the end of the stage. Because there's going to be snakes that uh, sneak up on you. And if they hit you when you are... They do five damage. So if they kill you, uh, you reach the end of the stage, but you don't, you don't get the win. And you get sent back all the way to the beginning of the stage because these have no checkpoints. But I had more than five health. I didn't get hit. So we're good. All right, so we're into the uh, the final proper stage of the game, and there's going to be uh, yeah, there's a sliding section here at the beginning. Uh, rail rail jumping does not work here, so we just jump into uh, for the encounters. There's no way to get spears, so we can't avoid this encounter either. But yeah, that side path you see on the left with the uh, the crumbled stuff underneath. That's where we need to go. The problem is we can't get up there. We need the help from the baboons to get up there. And that's why we're saving the baby monkeys. Also, hopefully I threw the spear correctly. Yep, I did. All right, so I'm going to stop here to not step into his trigger zone and then throw a spear. Also, there's an enemy yelling at me, so um, I want to get up here. Jump immediately. So throw two spears. Uh, and I do actually want to pick them up. Alright, that was a good climb. One damage, uh, yeah. Taking one hit is, uh, is fine. See, as you can see, there's a bunch of bananas in the path. Uh, I'm at 22, no, not 22, I'm at, uh, 17 health, that's good. That's fine. Risky rail jumps here, because the rails are kind of short. So yeah, we're saving the baby monkeys to unlock the bungee challenge, and then we beat the bungee challenge to... Um, uh, yeah, so the baboons will help us, then we go back into this stage, go to that side path that I mentioned, uh, get that exit, and then we are, we're on to the final boss. Also, here's another spider. Luckily, I spear, so I don't have to take my time to grab them, and yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, so like I said, if you can touch your spear, you get it back. So now I have to let this guy shoot at me. So I'm just going to jump a bunch and hope he misses me. Hello, John. All right, so that's two. One more baby monkey left. Yeah, that's also one of the formulaic things about this game. Every stage where every one of these type of stages has three baby monkeys to save. All right, so I'm gonna take it safe here and climb a little longer than I normally would to make sure I get on this. Because I really wanna have spears here so I can kill this dude and avoid the encounter. As well as not having to take spears here and take care of this spider immediately. I need to wait with my spear throw a little, because otherwise it's going to target the wrong dude, which it did, because I did throw it too early. Luckily, that's the last spear hit we need to do, so we actually don't need spears at this point.
Now here's a small a small optimization. Because as soon as the indicator appears, we quit the level. Because since the game stores the progress as soon as you get it, it already registers that you've saved all the baby monkeys and you get the uh, the bungee challenge. Uh, and while exiting the level early doesn't unlock the next stage, that exit doesn't unlock the final stage anyway. So we can actually use it. All right, so I go left, right, then there. Dude, no way. First try! With zero practice. Yo, that might have actually saved the estimate. You are a god. Yeah, and the, re the rest of the game is pretty arbitrary. It's just go through this section again and do the final boss and... You know, the final boss would, could have been slightly difficult if the, the required mashing speed was uh, pretty difficult, but it's not. It's, it's still very... Yeah, it's, it's not extremely fast. You have to mash for it. Like, the required mashing speed does go up, but it's, it's hardly noticeable because you're trying to mash as fast as possible. Uh, to make sure the bar drains anyway. Okay. So I'm gonna yell at them. I left an enemy there so he hits me to interrupt the yelling animation. Uh, and then I kill him so he doesn't hit me when I'm trying to climb up. Alright, so another cutscene skip. Yeah, we might actually be able to get an underestimate if I if I don't mess any of these sequences up. Okay, this first one is XXABY, which I'm just gonna take my time to type in so I just make sure I do it right. So XXABY. Yeah, if I don't mess any of these sequences up, we'll get an underestimate. No, I'm not surrendering. Okay, A, Y, B, X, Y. And the last one is A, Y, X, B, B. So, get, so final hit, get ready on time. Because the moment I complete the button combination, so on the last button press, uh, that's when time is. Also, if you m miss a button by accident, you have to do it over again. Oh, I didn't completely get it. Come on. Fully drain, please. And time! Alright, I'll... I'll play the controller down so you can enjoy this, uh, this ending cutscene at least. Alright, so, uh... We might be a little bit crunched for time, so, uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's Tarzan Untamed. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I tried my best for having very little practice, and uh, I'll be back way later for the uh, the Hello Kitty race with Lincoln Meister. So look forward to that. Enjoy the rest of the runs as well as the rest of the marathon. Well, thank you, Double Double, for going extra fast so I can eat my breakfast now. With that, I'm gonna sign off my hosting shift. Up next, we got Earthbound, done by our boy Cruel. And I think, I think, I already know what their names are gonna be, but I'm not gonna spoil them. But I like it, I like it. Next up, the next host is gonna be Xida. Uh, so you guys will see me later. Bye. Oh, by the way, we're gonna play some ads. I forgot that, because I'm hungry and such. Again, bye.